Hey everyone, um, my name is Morgan and I am an early career actuarial analyst. Since I'm so early on in my career, I thought it would be interesting for me to kind of document my progression through my career and the exams and meanwhile try to put useful information out there on the internet about the strategies that I use to be successful at work and when taking exams. Now, I've only taken exam FM as of now, um, but I passed and I'm currently studying for exam P, which I'm taking in March. And I think I have a pretty good study strategy planned out and I want to share it with all of you so that maybe some 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 of you can benefit from it. I mean, I would be happy if I could help at least one person out there and maybe my strategies aren't aren't the most efficient or aren't the best, but I think they work well for me. I would definitely encourage you to leave your study strategies in the in the comments so that I can learn something too. But today I thought it would be fun to do like kind of a study with me video um, where I kind of explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and you can just see what I do to study in a day. So first things first, um, I use coaching actuaries to study for my exams because um, one of my coworkers recommended it to me when I was starting, when I was uh, studying for exam FM and a lot of my coworkers actually um, also used coaching actuaries and they, they they basically swore by it, so I decided to use that. And I think it's worked out pretty well for me. They have an uh, entire section where they basically teach you all of the information that's on the syllabus. And then they have another section where you can take practice exams and um, like create custom quizzes to kind of practice areas that you're um, struggling with. So I think that's a really good system because the best way to do well in a math heavy subject is to do a lot of practice problems so that whenever you see a certain type of problem, it kind of just becomes second nature. Basically the order that I did things in was I went through the part where they, they teach you all of the required items. And I wrote my own notes down on, on paper um, so that I could kind of just like consolidate the information. And then once I finished doing that, I started doing practice exams. I did a few practice exams and then I figured out which areas I was weaker in. So then I started doing um, quizzes on the things that were troubling me on the practice exams and that has really been helping me a lot. Um, it's really been helping me improve my weak areas. That's, that's kind of the step that I'm on now, but I'm going to film myself studying and along the way I'm going to kind of explain what I'm doing and why I think it's beneficial. So I hope that this is helpful for people and um, if it is, then I'm probably gonna do more of these in the future. And even if they're not helpful or popular, I'm still probably gonna do them because I like doing it and I think that if I can help at least one person, then it's worth it. So, um, here we go.
So I have my written notes here and what I'm currently doing is typing them up um, on the computer and I know that Coaching Actuaries has their own formula sheet but um, I have some extra things in my own notes that um, I think are important and they seem to come up so I just um, think it's easier to read uh, and organize if I type it up so that's what I'm doing right now. You guys are going to meet my dog now because who doesn't love some good dog footage? Alright, so I have finished typing up. That's my dog playing. <laughs> but I finished up typing up uh, the equations I wanted to type up for today. Um, and by the way, for that, I am using LaTeX um, just because it looks really nice and it's pretty easy. Um, Overleaf is a good website for that. Also, by the way but now I am going to start doing some quizzes on some of the topics that I am not as proficient with so what I do is I just do the like standard five question quiz and I, I choose whatever level I, I believe is appropriate and I, I basically pick one or two subsections that I'm not very good at yet and I quiz myself on those and basically the idea is just that if I do it over and over again then it'll just kind of become second nature I'll see those problems on an exam and I'll be like oh yeah like I I know how to do this now like I I, I remember from all those problems that I did on the quizzes so uh, I'm gonna get started. So that was me just studying a little bit. You might have noticed that I wasn't really looking at my notes, which is a good idea um, to do when you're studying, not looking at your, at your notes, um, trying to recall the equations from your memory. So like active, kind of like active recall. It's really tempting to, tr to look at your notes, but you'll, it doesn't seem like it, but you'll learn more if you don't look at your notes and then you make a mistake and then you you just learn from your mistakes. I'm probably gonna do some more of these once I figure out how to make them a, a bit better. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, um, please toss me a like and I'll see you next time.